It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Hey, friends and family. How you guys doing? Mr. Flip Flop here once again. Now, um, this video right here with all this going on in the news and blah, blah, blah. I figured why not do a video for safety tips? You know, you have tips that I've given you for traveling tips that I've given for expats. Um, I've get, told you the DR is safe. Now, I'll go into that in a second. Um, but this is just, this video is going to be about safety for you to keep yourself safe when you come to Dominican Republic. You know, with all that's going on, I feel people need to be safe. Now, first I got to get into a phone call I got last night. Well, two phone calls. First came from my ex um, back in Brooklyn. And, you know, she was like, hey, man, why do you let these people egg you on. She said, you know, everybody she knows that says they're not going to DR does not have a passport. And I'm starting to notice a trend. Most of the people that say they're not going to DR don't have a passport. Um, also, you know, a lot of comments egg me and I respond because the way media works is one person says it or one troll makes four accounts and repeats it, people may start to believe it like we believe most things. So there's this narrative that someone posted, because I have a business, I'm defending Dominican Republic. Well, if we watched any of my videos, I left a six-figure job to start my own personal training company. I left my own company, which I was making very good money, to move to the Dominican Republic. And what type of stupidity would I have to tell you to come down here, buy some wings and buy some tacos and some cold beer, but you might die? That's the most idiotic thing I have ever heard in my life. And I responded to it, but the reality is I shouldn't have because any fool that believes I'm telling you to come down here to support my business is a fool. Also, I did realize something in the conversation last night with some expats. The people that come to my business are not listening to all this DR's uh, dangerous crap and it doesn't really affect me. I'm just giving the reality, my opinions, what's really going on with boots on the ground information. Um, I met some people from Wisconsin yesterday big group uh, of white people and they were interested saying wow you know we can't believe that all these stories are going on we're having a great time so that's whatever now something was also brought to my attention shout out to rich um i do i do have a different level of danger so when i say places are safe excuse me because my level of danger is differently now, I say where I'm from and, and, and you know, from New York and this and that. But I do have to reiterate this point before I get into these tips. I don't know 20 people that can walk through Fachin 143 that are not from there. I don't know 20 people that can walk through Sufton and Linden that are not from there. I don't know 20 people that can walk through the pink houses that are not from there. I can go to all these places. I go to any place I want. That's my different level of danger. I don't fear anybody. I don't fear anything. So I go to dangerous places because I'm from dangerous places. And I view danger differently than maybe you view danger. So pardon me if I say some place is safe and other person goes, well, no, da, da. I, I can understand that part. Uh, it was brought to my attention. I'm a big dude. Um, someone said I'm intimidating. I'm a bully, whatever. Okay, maybe these places are not as safe for you that they are for me, but I've posted videos with friends, white guys, black guys, and we're all in these places together. No one's unsafe. Um, so when I say places are safe, I'm not telling you to go to Bani in the, in the barrio at 2 in the morning and walk around. Uh, I'm not telling you to go to Santiago at 4 in the morning in a neighborhood you have no idea where it's at and just walk around. I mean that most places are genuinely safe, and as long as you carry yourself properly, 
You have nothing to worry about. Uh, shout out to Miko Worldwide. He did a video which was followed up the video I put out, giving almost the same information, but I liked his video because he broke it down a little bit more. Uh, you might want to check that video out. He gave a little more details than what I did as far as the situation with China, DR, and America. And I appreciate that video because, you know, I talk and I've been called a liar. I've been told I'm not black enough, which is the weirdest thing I've heard. I'm not American enough. I look Dominican. So it's good to see someone else. Uh, Ed Kane put a video up also. Uh, Educated Traveler also, and he's got another video coming up. Um, you know, kind of backing up what I've been telling you guys, you know, because it's like, I was just told that if you're not Fox News or ABC News, you're not believable. I pause on that one. So then my uncle called me. And he goes, well, first he has to say a prayer. I love my uncle. And then he goes, Greg, you have to remember something. You had the unique luxury of growing up the way you did. Around white, black, so many different nationalities. You experienced so many different things. Your views on life are different than most people. So when you speak from your standpoint and with confidence, you have to remember, you're a leader and people will follow you or go against you. I forgot about that. Thanks, Unc. I appreciate it. Um, but he also said, keep doing you and, and you know, you're very passionate about what you do and a lot of people support you, but you will have people who go against you. And weird story, I actually found out someone I know very well was trolling me on the YouTube channel. But I won't say anything. I'm going to say hello, toast to life, and whatever. So let's get into these tips. Tips for you to stay safe in the Dominican Republic when you travel. Excuse me, let me take a sip of my water. because it's, it's, I'm in the AC because it's super hot. We're going through a heat wave, and honestly, I can't stand it. It is very hot. Daytime, nighttime, it's like a heat wave for the past couple weeks, and oof. So, in no particular order, I do have one top one, but I'll save that for the end. In no particular order, tips to keep you safe when traveling to the Dominican Republic. Carry yourself properly, which is also when I talked about danger and, and traveling different places. Carry yourself properly. You know, respect the locals. Respect the people. You know, carry yourself with respect. You should do that anywhere in the world, not just Dominican Republic. You know, carry yourself, you know, a, a, a proud, but, you know, don't just disrespect the locals. You know, don't um, disrespect the people. As I told you guys many times before, when dealing with hustlers or dealing with salespeople or vendors, all you have to do is no gracias. You don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have to curse them out because they're going to ask you a million times. Just say no gracias. Okay. Now, there's a funny thing I remember when I was younger. Um, I remember these guys, and I, it happened on a few occasions, where, you know, we're in America, and someone from another country is in America, right? And the person says, what do you mean you don't speak English? You're in my effing country. Why don't you speak English? So I thought about that. When traveling, you go to another country, if you want to step out and about the, outside of the tourist areas, you may want to know the language. I've spoken on this many times. But I do remember that very clearly. People would say, you're in my country. Why don't you speak effing English? Hmm. So we want other nationalities to speak English when they come to America. But we don't want to speak their language when we go to their country. I'm just saying. I'm going to just put that out there. Uh, you, no, you speak Spanish. <laughs> uh, now. This is a good tip here. With all that's going on, don't drink from the mini bar. I'm going to the resort next week. Yes, I'm going. I, I can't tell you not to go to the resort. If I don't go, I've got to go myself and use myself as the human guinea pig as I do walking around everywhere I go. And I may be drinking from the mini bar, but I'm telling you, don't drink from the mini bar since that seems to be one of the things that's going on right now. Stay away from the minibar. Punto, which means period. 
Um, also, if you're going to go out in the ocean, if you're going to go in a deep part of the pool, can you swim? Not many lifeguards around in certain areas. Make sure you can swim. Just an FYI. I will put a riptide uh, notification in here of uh, what, what to do during riptides. I will never need that because I will never go that far out in the water. If it's past my knees, it's not for me. That rhymes and that's actually one of my sayings. So um, if you're going to go out in the ocean, if you're going to go out in the deep part of the pool, can you swim? Also, eat and drink at recommended places. You know, did your friend tell you, hey, I can go to this restaurant and this bar and it's very good? As I said before, there are places with fake liquor. Now, let me clarify fake liquor. I didn't say the Chinese fake liquor. I know nothing about that. When I say fake liquor, I mean if I go buy the top shelf rum, if you open it and drink it, the bottom shelf rum is in there. That's what I meant. If I go buy Patron, there's Jose Cuervo in it. Like a lesser, you buy a higher uh, liquor and a lesser liquor is inside. Excuse me. That's what I meant by fake liquor. I don't know about this Chinese liquor. I have not seen it yet. When I say fake liquor, I mean what you have and what you see, the, the sign that's on the bottle is not the liquor that's in the bottle. Okay, sometimes it's the cheaper version. Um, if you buy a cheap rum, or, well, a, a fairly cheap rum, sometimes there's the cheapest rum, that you know, the wino rum inside of that rather than the rum you're actually buying. So that's what I meant by f fake liquor. Um, and as I said, I don't condone in that. Some places do to save a buck. But uh, here we have legit liquor, straight up beer. Uh, I go above and beyond for my food because I have to. And that, as I said, if you were watching in my videos, I created Flip Flop for me because I wanted to go someplace that had good food, consistent food, had good drinks and consistent drinks. That's kind of what, you know, I felt the town was missing. So not a shameless club, but go to recommended places to eat and drink. Um, what I'm doing right now, Beat the heat. Hydrate. Listen, I'm telling you guys, for the past two and a half weeks, it has been super hot. I've got three fans on in my house right now. Baby sleeping naked. I'm sleeping naked. Shorty sleeping naked. It is freaking hot. As you see, I may run through maybe about 20 of these a day drinking so much water because it's hot. And um, you want to... As I said, beat the heat, stay hydrated. Um, it's, this is Dominican Republic, it's very hot. And you know, you wanna stay hydrated because it's, especially if you're drinking uh, in this heat, you hydrate, dehydrate really fast. Um, so another thing, like I said, hydrate, stay hydrated, beat the heat. Also, health. I, I saw um, a chart, I can't remember where it was, and it said that a lot of people die on vacation because of stress the stress of doing the vacation. Um, and then someone else pulled me to the side and said that besides vacation, a lot of people actually die on the plane. And we never hear about that because it's such a normal thing that happens. Um, the stress from just getting on the plane, going to the destination, a lot of people pass away, they empty the plane out and then pull the person off the plane. I found out that, that I heard it's a normal thing. I, Touch base with a couple of pilot friends of mine. They said, "Yeah, it's you know it's a pretty normal thing it happens, pretty regularly. It's just you know uh, flights put a lot of stress on the body. And then if you're already having stress or you're in bad health, and you know things happen. So check your health, man. See your doctor before you travel. You know make sure you're in good standing. And because you know as it gets really hot, as I'm telling you guys now, the way this heat is right now, um, you can get pretty sick from the heat. You know I I have been to the point where." I've gotten so dehydrated, I don't even get out of bed. So, you know, check, check with your doctor. Make sure you're okay to travel. Um, also, drugs. I don't mean illegal drugs because I don't do illegal drugs. I have nothing to do with illegal drugs. I mean legal drugs. Um, as you know, in Dominican Republic, you can get a lot of things over the counter. Just make sure that what you're taking, they do have name brands here. And I keep hearing fake drugs. I know there's fake drugs everywhere. I don't really deal with the street guys, so I don't know as far as the fake pills and stuff like that. But if you're taking anything, whether um, name brand or generic, it's a lot, a lot, in the pharmacy, there's a lot of generic, okay? So it's not fake, but it's generic version, meaning, excuse me, um, 
generic Viagra, generic Cialis, stuff like that, or generic pills, um, pills that you take back home, generic Tylenol, ibuprofen. So it's not fake, but it's generic. If you're taking these generic pills, just make sure if you have, uh, you're have on other meds or you're drinking alcohol, they don't coincide with what you're taking. Um, the ibuprofen here goes up to, I believe, 800 milligrams. In the States, I don't, I don't think it's over 500 without prescription. So you want to be careful on these drugs that you're taking, you know, the side effects with alcohol, the side effects with the heat, uh, side effects with your other meds that you're taking. So when it comes to those drugs, you just want to be a little careful with that and know what you're taking and, and the side effects when you do take them. Transportation. Uh, do you have a driver? Do you have someone, a taxi taking you around? Do you have an Uber? Transportation may not seem much, but you want to be careful, you know. I put the last video up and you saw at the end me driving on the, the panoramic mountain. Very dangerous mountain. I will tell anybody, do not take the panoramic mountain. The mountain is called Panoramic Santiago de Puerto Plata. It's a quick mountain from Santiago that gets you right out to, about to Montiano, Grand, well, Grand Parada. But it's very dangerous. The roads are not complete. Um, if, if you probably looked, I was doing a lot of swerving. It's, it's not the safest place to be. So you want to you wanna um, watch that. So transportation is key. Uh, I tell people, you know, make sure you have a trusted taxi, a trusted driver. And if you drive yourself, have your seatbelt on. Try to drive during the day and know where you're going. Now, the number one tip. I hope you all stay tuned for this. The number one tip for safety when traveling to the Dominican Republic, or I would say when traveling to any country around the world, to me, this is the number one tip. Don't listen to anyone without a passport. You guys are great. Subscribe. Like. Comment. I appreciate the love. I also appreciate the hate, but I'm still going to be here every single day. All right? You guys be great. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. Sir, Sir. what happened? Do you what happened now? No, I don't know. Pa jodeme la vida. Por esto no haya que más al diablo, joder. Que tú no sabes qué hacer. I don't care. What that mean, police? That don't mean chief for me. Police, I'm the law. I don't care. You the what? Police, I'm the law. The police the what? Why you police? Policia. 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 Me tiene la coronilla, gente. Relax. You relax. Mira, before you keep talking to me, mira, te hier de la boca. Put that in your mouth, please. No, I don't. Put I don't that in your that. mouth. I can take that. My I'm friend, gonna, you're no. gonna kill me. Like, you're gonna. Law, you don't no. need a gun to kill me. No. You need your breath. Listen. My I'm God. Give you a ticket for being disrespectful. You wanna give me a ticket for what? Being disrespectful. That bullshit. I'm gonna give you a ticket for wasting my time. Stupid. You can't Man, do that. Pedo. Oh you yeah, can I can do. do I'm doing it right now. Look. No. no. Seven hundred dollars. Jódete. Toma. You the ticket. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Back up. I need some backup. Dominican little socks.